Hello everyone, I'm Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create simple curves by using Inkscape. So let's begin by creating a straight line first. So I'm going to make use of the Bezier Curves tool and let's try to draw a straight line over here. So I'm control, pressing control, flicking my mouse, going to, to the bottom and I'm going to release my mouse over here while press the mouse over here again and I'm going to release the control key and the mouse and I'm simply going to click, uh, press enter and have a straight line. So now after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a couple of more points between these two uh, points. So the easiest way to do that is to select both the points okay, and add a point between them. Now I want another point between these two points, between these three points. So let's add that. So now you see we have a, a total of five points. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to create a figure in the shape of an S. So let's select this point over here and I'm going to drag it till maybe around 200. Okay. And let's select this point and drag it till let's say 300. So in this way I get an almost straight line over here. So now I'm going to select all of these points and I'm going to click on this icon over here which which is uh, it's going to create make all the selected nodes smooth so you s if you see my entire path has become very smooth right now however there are a few bumps over here which can be easily rectified just zoom into this and uh, let's try to smoothen it and we are good to go right it's pretty smooth curve now let us say that we want to uh, create some sort of a figure out of this, a different figure out of it. So I'm just going to duplicate this, control D, take it a little bit down, control D and press the down arrow two times and let's do control D again and press the down arrow one, two more times and you see I have a neat little S over here which is slightly crooked. So let's try to do something else. Let's try to group all of these objects so when you group all of a uh, number of objects together they become a single entity and if you move if you select one of them all of them will be selected and by moving one of them in fact you're moving all of them together so let's try to create a slightly different figure by let us say duplicating this and let's flip the duplicate copy and you see i have a nice little eight over here but uh, Let's see what else we can do. Let's press the control key and uh, drag it over here. Looks pretty neat, huh? So, mm, I think this looks like something like a collar. So, if this has a collar, let's make some sort of a body to it. So, let's uh, select the Bezier Curve tool again. Click over here. Click over here click over here and press enter and let's do the same on the other side but I don't want to do the same thing again so I'm just going to duplicate and uh, I'm going to flip it and I'm just going to use the arrow keys to place it on the other side and uh, looks like shoulders right now let's try to make the neck very bad neck as I would say because it's going to be extremely straight mechanical neck click sorry click and click and enter and duplicate and just move it to its left cool and there you go you have something like collar and you just simply made it by me by making use of the Bezier cur Curves tool. Uh, well, that's what I wanted to show you in this video, and thanks for watching.